Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about some more common ladder diagram symbols. Um, we're only going to talk about a few of them because I um, I just want us to get a, a nice feel for some of these. Um, a lot of these you can actually go onto the internet and just type in common ladder diagram symbols or ladder logic symbols or something like that and and it should bring you up like a whole bunch of them because there's there's timers there's there's you know your single pulls single pull double throw stuff like that you've got overloads that you might want to add in there but most of the things you're gonna have are like timers you're gonna have uh, float switches thermal pressure switches time delayed on time delayed off stuff like that and we might talk about some of those here in some later videos but for now I want us to have like a basis so we can start designing some ladder diagrams so that way we have an understanding of how how these work um, so with this we're gonna go ahead and start out with like just a common normally open contact in a ladder diagram so this is a normally open contact it's not a button it's a contact coming off of a relay of some sort and that's all it is uh, we've got a normally closed contact is gonna look like this normally closed contact just simple as that like I said it's on coming off a relay if for instance you had somebody that was going to draw a relay symbol which would be your power symbol it would be simply like this so we're going to talk about like a motor starter and we're going to put an M1 in here. Okay? So that's our motor starter's coil. Motor starter coil. Looks like coil. All right? It's going to be the part that actually sucks down the the relay if you will on there. The next part is going to be like our control relay. Okay, same thing. This is the coil on the control relay. We're going to go ahead and mark it down as a CR for control relay. Control relay coil. Simple as that. Let's say we want to have a light on the circuit though. So we'll have like a pilot light. And let's say we want to have a red light that signifies that the circuit is on. We're simply going to just draw a light, just like that. Just like that. Very simple. If we wanted a green light, we'll put a G in the middle of it. And we've got our little light symbol. That's all it is. So, like I said, those are just some other common, basic ones out there. Is our, our coils, our pilot lights. In fact, let me write that down over here for you. Oops. Pilot. I spelled that wrong, I'm pretty sure, but don't correct my spelling. I'm not I'm not good at spelling. I'm just going to put that out there for you straight up. I'm not a speller. That's why I'm an electrician, not because I'm not a speller. <laughs> but anyway, so you've got your, your normally open contacts, uh, your control relays, and your motor coil starter relay. And those are usually what's going to control your, your normally open and your normally closed contacts, is either your coil or your control relays or your timing relays and then you've got your pilot lights so that we know they're on well anyway like I said it's more common ladder symbols out there there's a whole lot more of them and like I said I suggest if you really want to know them go out on the internet and look them up they're out there and they've got charts of them that are as big as a uh, as big as a bedroom wall virtually that are just full of them so anyway um thanks for watching